Good morning guys, it's the uh, seventh Hunt for Bronze vlog. Um, this morning I'm here with Peter Phelps. Um, now, we're just going to skip over everything and go, why are you in the US? Because obviously he's from back home in Australia, so why are you here? Uh, I won the ABT Grand Final last year, yep. uh, which was a uh, trip to the States to fish with Carl Jochumson. And so I'm catching up with Carl yep. uh, tomorrow. Uh, but just at the moment, I'm just down here in Tampa, um, just to have a look around and mainly just to see 13 and pick up some gear and rods for uh, up north. Sweet, sweet. And you've done some fishing so far, I've heard, and you've a little bit of luck, but not too much, but you've caught some fish. What have you gotten and what have you uh, done? Yeah, so we went out one night and managed to hook into a few snook around some dock lights, catching them uh, like on little paddle tails, and I managed to find, uh, find a pond yesterday and got some large mouth on top water, which is pretty cool. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so pretty much the plans are for today. We're going to head out in the salt in the kayaks. Um, we're going to chase snook, reds, and we'll go to plan C and D if they fail, which is ladyfish and spotted trout, uh, or speckled trout, whatever they're called. Um, and we'll go probably go back out or chase large mouth in the arvo, depending on what the bite's like. But we've got a big rush out tide, which is sweet. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Yeah, let's go. Right, Phelps, he's got his first uh, first redfish here. Just throwing a little pontoon twenty one jerk bait. Oh, well done. They got teeth. Yeah, they do, but I I thumb grip them. Two fish and two cubs. A foul hooked mullet. All right, hold that up for the uh, for the viewers. My, that's not a bad little redfish. How hard do they go? Oh yeah, that was crazy. Wait, right, that's that's a small fish. Yeah, it's pulling the yak around. Yeah. All right, good stuff, mate. We'll just get a photo of that and get your release, eh? He's eating this lure, he's well hooked. Only a little tacker though, um, but he's a snook, eh? So the action is here. Alright, let's get in a position here to, to land him and, you know. There you go, guys. Little snook. Yeah, snook. We're going now. Alright, guys. Got this uh, little feisty snook. Jumped around a lot. Good fun. Really, you can really see that lateral line. We're just glad we've done it. We've, we've done the slam. We've got the, we got the uh, spotted trout, the red, and the snook. So let's find some bigger ones. So, I don't know if you guys caught the end of that fight there. I wasn't recording. Uh, but I just got absolutely destroyed. Absolutely destroyed. That's gut wrenching. That sucks. Just absolutely shredded away. I don't know what did that. I don't know whether it was on the rocks or whether it was the fish's mouth or what the hell it was. But holy cow, did he just destroy me? Oh, that hurts. That that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Oh well. Yep. Looks bigger than that. Ah, you got yourself a uh, Jack Creval. No. That's not a Jack Creval. That's a permit. That's a permit. Oh, talk about never knowing. Oh, maybe not. That's the 
other one. It's not permit, there's another one. Yeah. Almost looks like a dart. Yeah, like a dart. A dart crossed with the permit. That went hard. Alright, we're going out for the Arvo session. Um, we actually did pretty well this morning. How many fish did we catch? Uh, probably a dozen each, I suppose. Yeah, um, everything from Trevally, as big as your hand, to uh, uh, redfish, snook, uh, what was the Pompano? Pompano, Pompano yeah, yeah. Pompano. Um, permit almost. Yeah, mangrove jack, um, ladyfish, speckled trout, just a whole heap of different fish. Got, I mean, you got your first red, so I'm, I'm happy. That was cool, very cool. Um, so yeah, we're about to head back out. Um, high tide. High tide, rush out tide, big tide, so they should be stacking up ready to feed. Um, fingers crossed. We bought it. Alright, let's rock and roll. Okay, so you would have literally just seen us here about to go out there, those, and we're back because we caught shit all. Um, I saw five or six snook, did you, I don't know if you saw any, but... No, I didn't stand up on the hobie as much as you did, I sort of sat down and fished a bit wider, but yeah, it was pretty tough. Was yeah. A lot of guys in the water too, after work, you know, so... Yeah. Made it a little bit tougher as well. Just the tides weren't quite right, I don't think so. Yeah, I think that I was expecting to be a little bit longer on that rush out because there are low tides not till 12 a.m. tonight, this morning, however you want to put it. So I was thinking that we'd have about halfway through the tide. Instead, it was a lot lower than we thought it was. Where it was in the, this morning, which this morning it was good like that because it was low light, but the sun. At 6 o'clock, it feels like it's... Yeah, it feels like about 3 o'clock. <laughs> it's, what, 9 o'clock now? 9.30? Yeah, right. And you can still see how it is. So. That's it, that's it. So we we uh, went through it. We tried, gave it a shot. That was good fun, but yeah, we done well this morning. So. Yeah, decided not to flog a dead horse, which is <laughs> always good. You don't want to go, go home late at night, getting eaten alive with a sour taste in your mouth. Anyway... So you're off to Anita? Uh, Cuyuga first, to, Cuyuga. to Marshall up yep. there, yep. meet up with Carl tomorrow, and uh, yeah, then over to Anita from there. So. Awesome, awesome. So are you pre-fishing with Carl, or is that no, strictly... No, tomorrow is his last day, he's yep. not allowed to pre-fish with anyone, okay. so I'll be meeting up with him as soon as he gets off the water pretty well. So. Cool, cool. So you to meet his new girlfriend, I guess? <laughs> yeah, Maybe yeah. Just wander around? Yeah, um, she'll be picking me up, so yeah, oh, cool. we'll go from there, so yeah. Sweet, brilliant. Well, yeah, good luck for your comp. Um, Thank you, appreciate it. Smash it. Appreciate you taking me out and showing me the ropes and the flats. It's oh, good fun. That's alright, I mean, pff, I was home alone, so <laughs> may, as well, may as well have someone to do it with. And held his own, he caught, he caught that fish on a jerkbait, which is something I haven't done before, um, and not many people do do over here, is fish jerkbaits on the flats. Yeah, it was just one of those things, I've seen it in my box and I'm just like, oh, had two rods and everyone tells me to use a paddle tail and I thought, oh, there's a hard bait that I can use that works shallow. I thought, oh, give it a go. And that's it. Well, we had two casts, I think. A foul hooked a mullet and then caught that redfish the next cast. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It was, it was awesome to watch. I mean, that, and that's key over here is just to have two different baits on. Um, a lot of guys will just throw that paddle tail or a spoon. Um, they see those things all the time. I, I throw a shrimp plastic or crank a crab. Um, I throw a little bit of top water, but I haven't thrown a jerk bait, so it was awesome to see. Something different, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so good luck. Thank um, you. Thanks for coming out. Thank you again. And I'll see you back home. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> I'll have to come chase bass with you. I'll yeah, get one up on you. There's always room in my boat. That's it, brilliant. Alright, see you later. Tomorrow. Alright, morning guys. Um, no idea how I got up this morning. I am shattered. I am so wrecked. But anyway, I'm up. Gonna go back onto the flats. Um, hopefully, have my shot at a red today. Uh, Phelps, he got his yesterday, which is cool. Wish him a safe uh, flight and trip up north. Yeah, just gonna go head out for a couple of hours this morning. Um, then come back and see if there's a replay of State of Origin on any of the US channels here. Or I'll listen to it on the radio. Anyway, either way, I am about to head off and 
go catch me some fish. Alright, see you later. see him kicking up there. He's not huge, but he's a little red and they're fun no matter what. Oh, look at those colours on him. Look at that. Awesome. Absolutely awesome little fish. No, no. No, you can't go under there. It's just hook too. Alright. Alright, here we go guys. Nice little red. Look at that. Little cutie. Look at that spot on him. Such a cool little fish. Alright, we're just gonna unhook this red here. See how lightly he was hooked? That thing just fell straight out. 